How you doing today? My name is Calvin Duncan, pastor of Faith and Family Church, where we're living by faith and building godly families. I would like for you to visit our website, which is www.faithandfamilychurch.org. We have services at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. In the meantime, I'm here just to talk to you just a moment about some things, and uh, I trust that what I have to say to you today will really encourage your heart. I want to ask you a question. Are you still dreaming? Are you excited about your life? Not your kid's life, not uh, your job, but your life. See, one of the things that I recognize that is so critical in life is that for us is to be excited about every day. The Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. That means that every single day that I have an opportunity to live, I recognize that God has something special for me. And so what I want to encourage you to do is, first of all, be a person who believes in dreams. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream. And today, even though he's deceased, his dream is living on. Then there's another person by the name of Joseph in the Bible, in Genesis, the book of Genesis, who had a dream. And his dream came true. However, he faced a lot of ridicule from his brothers and to the point where they just wanted to kill him. And because he knew that it was something special on the inside of him, I believe somewhere along the line, he continued to have confidence and believe that his dream was going to come true. And later on, and it says in Genesis chapter 50, verse 20, it says, what you meant for evil, he told his brothers, what you meant for evil, God meant for good. In other words, there's a lot of people who, when you share your dream, they're dream killers. But I'm going to tell you what, I want you to be a dream builder. You need to learn how, when you get something on the inside of you, you write it down. Be careful who you share it with. You want to make sure that other people believe in your dream as well. And so the first thing I want to encourage you to do is to dream. To dream is to have a vision. To have a vision. The Bible talks about in, how, in Habakkuk where we need to write the vision down. Make it plain. And so whatever you want to do, whatever your desire is, whatever your goal is, write it down. Write it down and keep it before you. Then what you need to do, you need to make sure that you have a desire to reach your dream. Desire is critical. What is desire? Desire is like a craving, like a longing. You're wanting to do something real badly. You have a desire to reach your dream. I have a desire to eat ice cream, haagen ice cream. Not just any kind of ice cream. I love haagen ice cream. And I'm going to tell you what, I could, it could be 12 o'clock in the afternoon and I could be at my desk working and my mind body is saying, Hagen does, Hagen does, Hagen does. Why? You know what that is? That's a desire. That's a craving. So you've got to have that same type of intensity when it comes to reaching your dreams. That same type of intensity. Then you have to understand that desire is like running. It's like, it's like a wind. It's you're running. You're running. But after a while, you start to get tired. So when you get tired, now determination has to kick in. So you go from having a dream to having a desire. Now, you got to have determination. Determination is like being able to overcome obstacles, adversities, things that come your way. And so when you get tired, just look at it this way. Have you ever ran before and you start to get tired? But you know good and well, you can't stop now. So what you do is you keep running. It's called a second win. Well, I want to tell you that determination is like a second win. And so as you're continuing to reach your goals, your dreams, have that second win. It's called determination. Don't allow anything to stop you from reaching your goals, your dreams. And then you got to have discipline. Discipline is a, syst is a system. It's a way of doing things. So I want you to learn how to be disciplined and continue to do the same thing right all the time. Like, for example, I played basketball, and I was a guard, and I wanted to be a better basketball player, and I wanted to shoot the jumper real good. So I learned it was an acronym called BEEF, Balance, Eyes, Elbow, Follow Through. 
And so that I had to do every time I shot the ball, I had balance, eyes on the rim, elbow pointed, follow through. And I had to do that every single time the same way. Discipline, a system of doing things. I want you to stick to your goals. Don't stop. Don't be discouraged. Understand and recognize and believe that if God be for you, who can be against you? Recognize that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Believe and know that the Bible says that in Philippians 1, 6, that he who has begun a good work in you, he will complete it. And guess what? If you do those things, and then I want you to decide, make a decision that nothing's going to stop you. Be optimistic. The glass is half full, not half empty. Don't focus on the hole in the donut. Just focus on the donut. Be optimistic. Make a decision to say, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to make it. My dreams will come true. And guess what? Finally, you'll reach your destination. Whatever it is that you want to do, you'll reach it. Now, I just want to share with you another form of success. And um, just something real quick as we close. It's in Joshua 1.8, where the Bible told, God told Joshua, he said, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night. And do according to not some, but all that is written in it. For then you will prosper, then you will have good success. I know you want to have good success. And that's why you're listening to me today. I want you to hang in there, believe and know that your best and brightest days are still ahead of you. And don't settle for just a good job. Because good is the enemy of great. So remember this, good, better, best. Never let it rest. Until your good is better and your better is best. Thank you. Have a good one. Be blessed.